Hey everybody, this is Stephanie March from Minneapolis St. Paul Magazine and I am here with Stephanie Shim of the Blue Barn and the Blue Plates and we're at Mercury today because we are so excited. Today is the day of the new food fair, Fair Foods release. So, and actually we're not going to lie, this is a little sneaky ahead of time thing, but that's okay, we can do that because we're not talking about it until the day comes. All right, so you guys have two new items that are going to come out. One is an officially new foods item, and the other one is a unofficial new food. We're going to have to come up, I think we came up last yeah. year with bonus food. Bonus food. Bonus food new item, or yeah. bonus new item. I think that's what we're going to have to officially call it. Kind of under the radar bonus item. Right, because there's the list that the, at, that the fair themselves pick, and then there's the list that you guys as vendors, long-time vendors, you can put anything you want. Yeah. You can do whatever you want. It is... Blessed by the fair, but not on the official list. Not on the official list. Okay, so let's talk about what you're doing this year first, because that's most important. What do you got? This is the breakfast chislick. Chislick. There's a new word for you. That is a new thing. Chislick. I don't know what a chislick is. Potato skin. Okay. I, didn't, I didn't either. You didn't? I didn't. No. I, I learned along the way. Um, one of our chefs brought this item to our attention. And it's a Dakota bar food staple, a chislic. Oh, oh. So chislic is this. It's this. It's this seasoned, highly seasoned, seasoned meat. Beef. Mm -hmm. Right here. Right. 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 It's definitely seasoned. Mm -hmm. And this one has some sauce on top. So a little Brunei sauce. Yeah. And Ooh. peppers and onions underneath. Scrambled eggs in a hollowed out potato skin. Guys, this is a tater skin. I mean, this is basically tater. a boat, a potato with eggs. So this is like a breakfast item. Mm -hmm. And this is not, breakfast item. This is not the official new. Right? No, this is the new. Oh, that is the new. This is the new. This okay. is the official. That's the official new. So you decided to go with breakfast item, mm -hmm. and then uh, and you had you had a breakfast item last year, didn't you? The Buffalo Bill or the Wild, Wild Bill breakfast. breakfast. Bake. That was two, two years, years ago. ago. Wow. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, are you going to expect me no. to put together like a little spreadsheet so no. I can remember what was new when? Maybe you would want to do that. Maybe I would Maybe want you to would do want that. To that. that might be a good Maybe. idea. Okay, okay, so this is the officially new item. What are we calling it? The chislick? The chislick. The chick chislick breakfast potato skin. Okay. The off... Let me, like, let me check my official yeah. list here. Yeah, I'm okay, sure I have right. an official... Check your, check your list. Okay. And then this is, of course, the bonus food item. Yes. And this is what? So this is... This is the homage to the Nashville hot chicken. Right. So hot chicken on a stick. Right. This is fun. It's this it's, is big. It's it is big. This is big. It's on trend. Yeah. Yet it's still within the confines or within the so the it's, parameters of what we do. It's still comfort food. It's, it is. It's fried chicken. Yeah. And it's right. got it's got cereal on it. Yeah. Cereal. I love that. Is it just cornflakes? I believe it is cornflakes. Mm -hmm. And so the sauce is kind of a sweet hot sauce. Yep. And it's Minnesota hot. It's not Nashville hot. Let's. It's that's probably Nashville-ish hot. Right. But more Minnesota hot. That's really delicious. Okay, that's a lot of fun. Okay, so and pickles. And pickles. I you love gotta that. have the pickles, and you gotta have the the slice of white bread under there too. The slice of white bread uh -huh. to sop it up. Mm -hmm. I love that. That's kind of and fun. I, and I, we thought it was about time to bring the stick back. Um, I am really hoping that there are more stick items on the menu. There was a big move to go away from we the stick. We went away from the stick. Can you tell me a little we, bit about... We, the greater we. We, we the empirical we. Yeah. The, the royal we. The royal we. Um, and a lot of that yeah. is because of the former director of the New Foods. That was a, that was a thing that he basically said, mm -hmm. you know, we kind of moved away from that. But now... Well, and I think for the right reasons. Because right. we were stuck in a period we where everything was deep fried and everything was on a stick and everything was battered. And True. it was getting a little hung drunk. True. Um, and so Dennis, the former dealer, the food czar, took us away from the stick. Yep. We amped it up. We, we foofed it up a little bit. But now I think these sticks kind of it's going retro. It's a little retro. nostalgic. Yeah, it's, it's a little nostalgic. nostalgic. Right? So tell me about has the, has the process changed a little bit since there is a new food czar? We have a new food czar. Her name's Nikki. Nikki. Mm -hmm. And much like in years past, we started the process really early back in you know December, January. Right. Right. Thinking, mm -hmm. kind of taking measure of what happened last year, and saying we can do something you know to fill a hole or. And then Nikki had us. She changed it up a little bit. She had us bring food in. So you'd never done that before? It had been mostly pictures? Yep. 
And we did a little show and tell. You did a little show and tell. A little song and dance. Kind of walked in. It, it almost Dog and pony. Like she's putting a little more emphasis on perhaps curating it. Okay. I don't know. Okay. Well, I do love the fact that there has been such a really wide breadth of types of foods, you know, between sweet and savory and, you know, different nationalities coming in and different health, you know, levels. So it can only get better mm -hmm. from there. I think so. Yeah. I think that we are the preeminent fair in the country. Yeah. And we're, we're, we're owning it. Yeah. I think so too. And I think having that, it not just be, I'm going to just go on a limb and tell you that I'm not, like, the fact that Texas goes crazy with their yeah. stunt foods, yeah. that's fine. I mean, I love that they do that too, but I don't think we want to be all stunt food, right? We want to have enough things that you are, I want to have things that I can't get anywhere else, mm -hmm. but I also want to be able to eat, mm -hmm. like, love, all the time. I love the word stunt food. Yeah. That was a great... Stunt food and craft with a pH beer. Craft beer. Remember, that was from my last year. That was good. I learned that one, too. See, we're always evolving. We're always changing. We're so always the, the podcast. Yep. Yep. Okay. Podcast on the stick is still happening. Okay. So we're all going to learn so much about the fair again and again and again. Because it keeps growing and it keeps evolving. Let me ask you, what is the one thing you learned from last year's fair that is going to inform what you do at this year's fair? Can you do that? I know that's a big question. Well, not as much of a food thing, more of a process sure, thing. Sure, sure. We started accepting credit cards <gasps> last year. Yeah, how'd that we go? We did Square. Yeah. And it went really well. Do you think that you had more sales because of that? I'm going to say yes. I would think so. And happier people. Yeah. People wait in line, they get to the front, and then like, oh, you don't take credit cards? And we'd have people walk away and leave their food. Yeah. The and they, we're yeah. really about quality and making sure your food's good. So... We're just going to have to throw that food away. Yeah. And when they come back with their cash from the ATM up the hill, we remake their food. Yeah. Yeah. But so they've waited waste. in line twice. Yeah. And that's... we have food waste. Yeah. And now they're so happy to just swipe their Sweat. card. Yeah. And I do. I think maybe even they get an extra beer. Mm -hmm. Or they, yeah. you know, stop for a frole and Well, it's a like chicken. if I had only 20 bucks and I can only get one thing versus if I have space. Yeah. on my card, then I can get a couple, maybe a few things. Or like, I also like for it, in terms of it being able to say, like at the end of the day, like, okay, I got these three things, you got these yeah. three things, and it, you can look at it on your credit yes. card line, well, and, and you can split easier. Um, up to the minute current oh, yeah. PMIX. PMIX is our fancy term for product mix. Product mix. What's selling, what's not, yeah. so it helps yeah. us prep for the next day. And I just think it helped the whole process and helped us be more prepared and you know ready to go. Okay, so what's your one piece of advice to anybody who is coming new to the fair? We know that, you know, as of today we learned that Jared Brewington of Funky Grits is coming to the fair for the first time. Can you tell us, is there a thing that you would say to him as a one piece of advice? Over prepare, have too many people around, you can always find something to do, um, and just deliver hospitality. Well, good. Don't good. ever. Don't give up on that. Don't give up on hospitality. Don't give up on taking an extra minute to talk to someone and make a connection. I mean, this really. It really is about the people. Yeah. It's the get together. It's yeah. the great Minnesota get together. So take it. Take, take an extra minute to know who's coming to your line. Okay. All right. Well, this has just been a quick sneak peek, you guys, because of course we still have sixty plus days before we get to fair time. But you know, the new foods the reveal is always the beginning of the summer days that all lead to the state fair. Every all single, roads lead to the fair. All of them do. So yeah. thanks so much, Jimmy, for being here. Welcome. Stay tuned, you guys, for more fair coverage from Minneapolis St. Paul Magazine all summer long. We'll see you soon.